In other news, it was another grueling day for former Prime Minister Bruce Golding at the West Kingston Commission of Inquiry. Mr. Golding was questioned at length about his relationship, if any, to the former Tivoli Garden strongman Christopher Dennis Coke. Attorney for the police, Deborah Martin, grilled Mr. Golding about Coke's infamous reputation. Mr. Martin asked Mr. Golding if he was aware that Coke was a part of the Sharaposse gang, head of the presidential clique and construction company Incomparable Enterprise. Golding said he was aware of the latter. I indicated that I, I knew that they were involved in construction, construction activities. I don't know what other activities the company may have been engaged in. I don't know how much... Mm -hmm what percentage of their activities construction constituted. And they were the beneficiaries of numerous government contracts for construction, relating not, to construction rather. Not, not a great deal after I became Prime Minister, a mm -hmm. substantial more while the People's National Party were in office. I see. Now, you were aware of the overlap in persons between the Shaw Posse gang and the presidential clique? No, no, no. I, 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 I didn't know that, no. Were you aware of any overlapping in personalities between the presidential clique and Incomparable Enterprise? Incomparable Enterprises, as I understand, was associated with Coke, although I don't know, based on information that has subsequently become available, I don't know if he was a registered shareholder or director. Mm -hmm. But I understand that there was a relationship. Yes. During Ms. Martin's cross-examination, it became evident that her line of questioning annoyed Mr. Golding. He was particularly peeved when questions about the response of West Kingston residents to the announcement of an extradition warrant for Mr. Coke. He conceded that events fueled anxiety among residents. Ms. Martin suggested that as Member of Parliament for West Kingston, the former Prime Minister did little to encourage the residents not to protest against the police and subsequently mounting barricades. There were persons who stayed on a placard next to God, Dudus. I have not investigated the media reports to see what was on the placards and what was not. I was not aware. I was not aware. Have you talked to persons within the constituency about their demonstration? No, no, I had no such discussion, no. Why not, sir? Because I didn't think it was necessary. You didn't think it was appropriate to find out why they felt moved to demonstrate in that way? I had a country to run, Miss Martin. But you had, I had the country was arrested by what undertake. was happening. No, no. The answer is that I did not go to inquire from residents in Tivoli Gardens what were written on placards carried by demonstrators through Kingston. I did not. You understood that the demonstration was a response to the issuing of the warrant? That was my understanding, yes. Were you aware that the citizens in Tivoli barricaded their communities, all roadways leading in and out? Well, I can't say all roads leaning in and out, but uh, that I've answered that you at the commission that, yes, that several hear. times. Having several when you heard, times, several did you times. actually go to see the barricades? No, no, I didn't go to see the barricades. You heard about the barricades? I heard about the barricades, and I was so advised by the security forces. Did you understand that the barricades presented a limitation on the access of the movement of people within Tivoli? To I'm and from Tivoli. But isn't, isn't that a common sense definition of barricades? So you understood that there was limitation on <laughs> yes, the movement. Understood that. Understanding that, sir, mm. did you do anything, take any steps yourself in your constituency to cause those barricades to be removed? No, the removal of barricades with the greater respect is the Madam responsibility of the law enforcement agencies of our country. Did you speak to the country? persons in your constituency in an effort to encourage them to remove the barricades? To encourage your people in the constituency? Your people in your constituency. Is that a normal function of a member of parliament? I gather most members of parliament, when there are demonstrations and barricades, will go, if they care, to find out why have you put barricades there? <laughs> no. What are your concerns? I did, How can I help? I did no such thing.